Three, two, one, medical me review. <laughs> Family members, hey, you're basically a doctor. Can you check this out for me? Me, a first year med student. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an arm missing. Now this is a story all about how my life got twisted <laughs> upside down. These are maneuvers that we do to actually try and expedite the baby turning to be non-breach, meaning head down. But it's funny that they uh, threw a little Will Smith action there. Prince of Bel Air. What is it, gallbladder? Can't you see I have a lot to do? I make these. You made stones? You're just supposed to hold what I give you. Get out, go on. I make these? Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. Aw. Whenever they personify organs and make them cute like this, it makes me want to hug them. Especially when they make these. Harry Potter and the COVID-19 test. <laughs> Oh my God, this is a scene from Harry Potter, right? This is like the giant. Where are my Potter fans at? Look at my glasses. Should I do the mm -hmm. What house do I belong in? It's exactly what I was afraid of. What? Skeletons. I have some bad news for you. You. You know what you have inside of you? Don't tell anybody that I told you this. A friggin' skeleton is inside you. I can only say that because I'm a doctor and I know. America leads the world again. Snack masks back on the go. Easily fits one hot dog with bun, small bag of chips. If you laugh, you probably have no friends. Caution, wet floor. <laughs> I remember when I grew up, I had a shirt that said, I have lots of friends, you just can't see them. For the, anyone who doesn't know, this is H2O. These are little molecules. H2 molecules. When the sun gives someone skin cancer from 152 million kilometers away. Meet the sniper. Is the sun 152 million kilometers away? Is that, a, is that an accurate fact? 91.4 million miles. Oh, 91.4 million miles is the same as 152 million kilometers. You know this? Yeah, I just did the conversion. 147. Well, I, you know, I, I did an average. Super wrong. The sun is a sniper, but it's also a giver. Like of life. Oh, chlorophyll? <laughs> wow, I was unprepared. Me, what can I do to get healthier, doctor? Doctor, use a bicycle and cut the carbs. Me, <laughs> oh, that's good. When I was 10 years old, we bought skateboards, not for our feet, but for our fingers. And we would do cool tricks with our fingers. And then when we got bored of those, we got BMX bikes that we again rode with our fingers. When a patient comes in with something in their rectum and you ask how it got there, <laughs> I love that there's an Eiffel Tower. Also, it's the wrong there on the rectum. I'm a grammar police person. Was there something I missed? Yeah, you'd notice something in the patient's rectum and you would ask them, how did it get there? What would they say? I fell. And what's the image of? Eiffel. Uh, her, I only date doctors, me. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Dr. Pepper. Why do doctors hit our knees with that hammer? It's simple, we get a kick out of it. Honey. Never stand or sit in front of a patient when you do that, especially as a male physician. It's very easy for them to be like a little bit hyperactive or nervous and go wham! Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, patient gun. <laughs> that is not true. You can revive a patient from asystole, which is also known as flatline. And you know how you do that? It's not shocking the patient. It's chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions, and perhaps a little epinephrine. What gives people power? Money, status, mitochondria. I love that it's posted in Reddit, technically the truth. Mitochondria really is the energy center of the cell. Yes, I'm gonna keep saying that, I'm sorry. When your patient's heartbeat is fire, so you let the whole squad listen. Oh, those are dope beats. By the way, this is how people studied back in the day. I just don't know why all these doctors are so elderly. Let the young doctors listen, jeez. Me, doesn't eat all day. Me, having one sip of wine. Yeah, if you don't eat, it's really easy to get overly drunk. Like, very, very easy. If you eat a heavy, fat meal before you drink, it slows the absorption of the alcohol, and as a result, you don't absorb it readily into your blood, and you have a lower blood alcohol content as a result. Result, therefore, you um, don't get as drunk. When they tell you, you look just like your mother. <laughs> the funny thing, this has been pulled up on my computer for a minute, and I did not even make eye contact with the mother. And who's this other person hugging the baby that also looks like a child? Am I dying? We're all dying just at different speeds. But what about me? You're like the Usain Bolt of dying, Elevate. 
Oh, that's so mean. You know what's funny? Part of my uh, medical program in Overlook Family Medicine when I was a resident was to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and we would look at paintings and talk about their medical aspects, their human aspects. You cannot lose weight on a starvation diet. I went 30, 40 minutes. It's nothing. Interestingly enough, and I'm gonna get medical here, don't mind me holding a piece of my camera equipment here. The reason why starvation diets don't work is one, they don't last. Second, fat literally has a mind of its own and your own body has a mind of its own. So if you start starving yourself, your metabolic rate will drop, therefore you'll burn less calories throughout the day to try and conserve energy and keep the fat on. Your fat is smart. It's gonna try and survive and thrive. Basic Pokemon, <laughs> Dr. Mike, I love that they use this image of all images. Attack is pee whoop or two attacks is chest compressions. A human Pokemon commonly found sporting a snug fit shirt and a smile can debunk fake medical news and prescribe potions to sick Pokemon. This is actually well made. I dig this. Why would a fly land on something like this? Rats should be ashamed for falling for this trap. Bears, this is ridiculous. This must be fun. <laughs> med school is not a trap. I think med school is an amazing place to go if it's right for your soul. And the only way you know it's right for your soul is to know yourself. And I have that tattooed on my body and I'm gonna constantly say it over and over again. Before you do anything in this life, know thyself. No, you can't just hijack my cell membrane and force me to make copies of you. Ha <laughs> ha, protein printer go brr. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is the COVID-19 vaccination mRNA process, where we actually code for the mRNA spike protein that's found on COVID-19. We then put it in a lipid encapsulated membrane. We shoot it into your cell, and then your cell's like, oh, you can hijack me and I'm just gonna make copies of you. And then your cells realize, oh no, this is not our own cells. Let's kill it and create a defense to it. And now you're protected from COVID-19 without actually getting COVID-19 or being exposed to COVID-19. Hashtag science. Dr. Mike, don't use Q-tips in your ear. Me fights the urge for three hours. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no! Ah, oh, there's so much wrong with this picture, man. Not only do I have like salad in my mouth, there's dressing all over my lips, my chest hair sticking out, the microphone lapel mic is visible. I'm wearing that dirty, apron. At least my hair looks decent. Ugh. And then I said, <laughs> I've not progressed from my writing style since fifth grade. I've been getting by on the excuse that it's doctor's handwriting. No, folks. It's bad children's handwriting that I never practiced. And now with computers and cell phones, I have an excuse not to. Appendix. Normal appendix. Inflamed appendix. Ruptured appendix. Acute appendix. <laughs> Aww. This is really good. I like that. Aw. I mean, not all for someone who has a ruptured appendix. How come after like age 26, your body starts to make clicking sounds when you stretch? Is that the warranty expiring? It's most definitely the warranty expiring. Although I wouldn't say 26, I would probably raise it to like 28. I'm 31, I'm definitely starting to feel it. One of the main reasons I feel it is because my 16 year old nephews are starting to get close to beating me in basketball and that's a problem. What y'all call this? Mouth shit. <laughs> Although I'll be worried about those tonsils. There's some serious crypts in there where stones can form, also known as tonsil stones. Karen with her essential oils. I don't fear you. Coronavirus. Then you will die. <laughs> I talk smack about essential oils when it comes to making false claims. But guess what? I have essential oils all over my apartment. There's a diffuser that sprays. Oh, it's a nebulizer, sorry. A nebulizer that nebulizes. I have those diffusers that like you put the little reeds in. I like essential oils, which is is weird to be at war with them. But I'm only at war with the essential oils that claim to be healing when they're not really healing. The coronavirus doesn't care if you smell like lavender. Me, my online classes tasks Dr. Mike vlogs. Yeah, sorry Pam. If you had a good laugh, check out me reacting to medical scenes from The Simpsons or my 12 year old nephew roasting me while we build a Lego hospital. Which one are you watching? As always, stay happy and healthy.